so a deep dark secret is you need to take a lesson probably once a week then you need to spend the rest of the week working on your the stroke so we're working on this forehand the forehand it's butt cap to the ball extend the hand through the shot without rotating the shoulder no rotation the shoulder follow through as long as you can then rotate the shoulder more hand action a little bit more wrist action it's really hard for me to do but it's getting better and I have to really focus on planting my foot and, and rotating but having my hand in front of the rotation and holding this hand here for me it helps if I hold this hand down I come over the top which is kind of funny this is not what I teach I teach, I teach going to the other hand but to work on it and work on it and not go back to the way it was so that means I'm going to take one step backwards my power level is a bit uncontrolled so I miss but that's why you practice and one good thing about our matches like we play two hours we dedicate the first half hour to hitting just to warm up and you need that kind of dedication because you know you can't practice shots in match play you need a hitting session so imagine we play three to four times a week and we do this hitting half an hour every time we play and it's just a lot of ground trips like i'm not even balling that much and now i can smoke the ball and the key is also to be very relaxed Look, just listen to the sound it has a different sound when you strike the ball backhand you're going to try to make impact in front just hit clean just hit clean the grip is still the semi-western western grip but really trying to hold the racket and bomb the handle too and come through the ball got a lot of confidence in the shot too it is creating an issue when I play and you'll see it in the video I can't come in that I hit the ball and I can't come in that so I think it's going to be a return to stay back for one shot Backhand, I still have to stay down and think about clean and come forward, bring my hand forward. Overall, like, my body feels okay too. I'm doing core, push ups, sit ups, leg raises, and dumbbells. And I'm doing pull ups. That's a new thing, I'm doing pull ups. Stay clean on the backhand, don't worry about hitting it big. And work on the wrist action the forehand and then I have to work my feet I have bad feet how flat footed I am there that backhand you see it you see it clean forehand looks good we'll see how it is when I put singles this weekend really hard for me to hold that shoulder and do stuff like that like really roll over the hand and so that's gonna be an ongoing project but I think if you have a good pro and they give you something to work on I basically have to do forehand butt cap to the ball hold the shoulder a little bit more wrist action just a little bit Extend my arm to my target. So, butt cap to the ball. Hold the shoulder turn as long as I can. Extend my arm to my target. And then let that wrist kind of flow through. The backhand, just hit in front. Extend the arm all the way out. And let my wrist flow through. Serve a lot of different parts of it. Extend the ground strokes. And I think you'll notice it's paying off immediate dividends 
Oh, also the swing plane has to be sort of like a almost horizontal. A little bit up. The volleys are still the same. The vies are okay. I was having trouble with um, hitting to someone at net, but now my new theory is gonna be I'm just gonna go right through them. They can't volley, they'll volley it. My friends can volley it. I'm just gonna go right through them. I'm not gonna worry about hitting them anymore. And then when I hit with other people, and I've learned this from playing with Joe to the left of me, is he never brings his level down for his people he hits with. He expects them to come up. And so I will try to hit hard, hit hard, hit hard, hit hard, and let them come to me. Before I would try to manipulate the ball, let them have a ball that's easier for them to hit. And they just sometimes it just throws the whole thing off. I'm just gonna hit and then whatever happens, happens. This is the problem I have when someone's at net. I lose control of the ball and it goes up. And I think I'm just trying to be the nice. And then at this point here, I just said, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to hit the ball. Here. I said, that's screw it. I'm going to hit. And he did fine. He's fine with it. Just hit. Go right through them. My friend's good enough to handle it, so that's something else I I, 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 work, I work on. Going right through the ball. I think it's a mark improvement on my forehand. 